Look, I, I think this is an accumulation of the different ideas on gaming that we've been looking at for a number of years now. Basically, what we did is took what the House passed last session twice, what the Senate passed, and one of the other areas of discussion that have been out there. One from the governor with the I lottery uh, program, and the other from Republicans and Democrats in the House, BGT program, married all those together to come up with this comprehensive gaming proposal. And look, it, it's focused on basically uh, three things. Uh, number one, getting money to the general fund for this year's budget. Number two, fixing the local share issue that was thrown out by the court case. And number three, stabilizing the lottery fund in future years by dedicating some of the VGT revenue to ensure that the lottery fund will remain there and in good fiscal shape for our senior citizens. Are, are, are you worried that this may blow up at least this aspect of the budget, the VGT aspect of it? No, we actually think this is a good start to the final budget negotiations. Obviously, all five parties last summer committed to get gaming expansion to the governor's desk as part of the 16-17 budget. Uh, we would have preferred this to happen a little bit sooner, but we are very appreciative the Senate moved a couple weeks ago. This is building upon the Senate proposal and will actually enhance revenue a little further uh, than the Senate proposal put out there and help stabilize the lottery fund for future years. And do you have any commitment from the Senate to go along with the BGT? Oh, look, we're still working with the Senate. Uh, I, again, I, as I said, we were appreciative that the Senate moved a proposal. They asked us then to consider what changes we might want to make to that proposal so that we can get to a final proposal and make sure it gets to the governor's desk and sign into law as part of the 17-18 budget.